Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer is Best, and I'm at Gas Axe Chop Shop, 10 Mile, Tennessee, with Mr. Tim Dixon. I was wanting to show this Plymouth satellite. Now, I think it's a 1965, I believe, if, my, if memory serves me correctly. It's a 1965. But I haven't seen one of these cars in a long time, and all you Mopar people... Maybe you'll get a kick out of it. It belongs to a customer. It does not belong to Tim. But look at those. I'm going to stand back where you can see the whole thing. Two-door hardtop with craggers. That's the way it was back in the day. Back in the day. I don't know who ever come up with this, how they found it, but it's a pretty rare car for around here. In East Tennessee I'm gonna open up the doors I don't think they would care it might be locked let me check the other side I think this car is here because Angie Dixon Tim Dixon's wife is going to be doing interior on it I think that's what Tim said okay I hate to touch somebody else's car but uh I'm not doing it any harm it's a four speed in the floor I'm just going to pan around real slow where you can see it. It still has the AM radio. Try to get down here. This sun is so bright today. And I'm glad of it. I mean, I like the sunshine much better than a cloudy day. Needs a headliner. Looks like some door panels back here in the back. Uh, probably the rear panels. Just looking. It's in remarkably good shape. Remarkably good shape. Little Plymouth logo here. I, I wish they still made Plymouths. I've always liked them. Got the four speed pedals. And I'll try to show you that pedal, the clutch pedal. Now that, that is a Chrysler Mopar pedal brake, uh, you know, clutch pedal pad. The brake pedal pad would look the same way. See, I'll try to blow this up where you can see that. The gas pedal is original. I, I went to school. I drove a 60, my first car, 63 Dodge, four-door Polara. Same exact pedals on it. I mean, it's automatic. It was push button. But uh, it reminds me so much of that car. Now, my, my, uh, Shifter was right there. You know, park, neutral, reverse. It's push button. Bench seat, like your four-door car. That was a good car. It had a 318 in it. Now, I don't know what's in this. I'm not going to raise the hood. Like I said, it's not mine. And I, But, man, a lot of you just don't see these anymore. And uh, it's just really, really cool. Looks like it's had a new floorboard put in it. Yep, I think so. And these old stickers, oh my goodness. I wouldn't get rid of them for nothing. That door still shuts good. I'm trying to read the little, uh, trying to read the offer, I mean, the, the story on this old car, but it's just cool. Plymouth Satellite. I haven't seen one of these. Now, my, my football coach had a beautiful uh, 62, no, yeah, 62 Plymouth convertible. Red, had the Craigers on it. Red with a black top. And that thing would beat the ground. And it, man, it's a sharp car. It's one of the sharpest cars in our small town back in the day. But I mean, I, I like Mopars. I like them. You know, I wouldn't mind. I'd love to have this one. I mean, it's just really unique. Really unique. I'm sure he's got all this stuff put up somewhere. But I, I just had to do a video of it. I know it's not Tim's, but I don't think Tim would mind me doing a video of it. It's just really, really cool. Anyway, let me know what you think if you've ever rode in one of these before, a Plymouth 
satellite. Commando V8. Now I'm thinking that could be a that could be a 318 or it could be a 383. I don't believe it'd be a 440. And I'm not raising the hood. So don't even ask. It's none of my business. If it's someone else's car, I, I don't mess with it. I'm just funny like that. But isn't that roof line cool? All that glass. It's almost like you don't have a, a pillar right there. You know, it's so so thin. And you'd be surprised when you're driving how much you can see like that. But anyway, really super cool car. I'd love to hear it run. I'd love to hear it start. But not going to happen today. So uh, I thank you for watching the video. You're watching Prime at his best. My name is Jimmy. And uh, this is Tim's 59 El Camino. I'll, I'll walk around it real quick. I've showed this uh, El Camino lots of times. This belongs to Tim. It's got AC, four speed, uh, uh, the radio has been converted. Looks like the original, but it's not. Uh, it runs and drives. He has the grill guard uh, for the front bumper. Correct. And this, if I remember right, this one is for sale. So, if you're looking at looking at buying an El Camino, this might be the one for you. I bought that tag for Tim. 59. Found it at a flea market. I got it for Tim for this car when he first got the car. Pretty cool. If you're interested in this car, give Tim a call. He's on Facebook. If you type in a gas axe chop shop. Gas axe chop shop. Axe is spelled A-X-E. Gas axe chop shop. And, uh, his phone number is 423-507-2693 and I'll leave it in the description at the bottom of this video if you'll uh, if you'd like to look give Tim a holler tell him you heard about him from Primitive's Best and ask him about the El Camino or any of this other stuff this all belongs to Tim Tim Dixon Gas Axe Chop Shop I love coming over here I love seeing all these old rides and uh, it's a beautiful beautiful day here in East Tennessee and uh I'm happy to be alive. I want to thank you all for watching. You're watching Primate is Best. And like I said, my name is Jimmy. I'm on Facebook, Primate is Best. Instagram, Primate is Best. I have a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. And I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. I like El Caminos. I like 59s. Ain't they cool? Y'all let me know what you think about I mean, two pretty rare cars. 59 Chevy El Camino that runs and drives. With AC that works and a 65 Plymouth satellite. Y'all have a blessed day. Catch you in the next one, guys. I'll see y'all later.